Yeah, hello guys, back on the track to the moon. Yeah, um, I uploaded a video hours ago and I decided to bring one more today. Um, yeah, because I have really fun by doing that. So, um, you know, I told, <clears throat> I already said that I got a new computer and it, it's really fun to, to handle now big data sizes so it's really cool to play on the trigger uh, of these smoking guns um i was uh talking to uh tev derek baker um greetings to you man um and we were um thinking about um what software we're using to um enhance details and so on yeah <clears throat> i use um acdc software since um, let me think about it uh, almost around about 18 years i'm not sure at all i'm 38 now and um, i got my first computer with um, 16 17 not sure at all and <clears throat> sometime i try to use uh, graphic software for um yeah for my photos and now I still use the same software because I know it. It's like feeling home. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about um, the fact that a lot of images are upside down. And <clears throat> when I remember back uh, to my first exploration to the moon, um, I watched the Clementine pictures and other ones from another. And the most things or some. Uh, anomalies looked like domes, but um, the most things that look like domes are images that are upside down. And if you turn it, when you turn it, um, you can see that these domes uh, changes to, uh, I, I call it dishes on sticks, um, because these dishes are sticking out of the ground um, a lot. And um, they really look artificial. And um, I still have another image in a pipeline. It's already in the software. And um, yeah, this is the source, March to the Moon. It's a great uh, website for uh, getting all these images. And the most images you really can get um, in uh, full size here, in raw size. And this um, makes it possible to, to um, work with uh, good quality and bring out the details. So the image I um, downloaded is the AS16-122-196. Um, I will write it in the description. And this is the um, unedited version, so very dark. And but not longer, you will see. Excuse me, one thing. Sorry for that. I smoke a cigarette now. I actually don't smoke, but um, when I drink wine or beer, I I like smoking a cigarette. Whatever. Um. So now you can see. Um, okay, I have to say I already cut it. I did cut the picture because the original one uh, looked like this, like this, and I had to. Um, I mostly cut this area out. I hope you can see the mouse cursor now because I I forgot to to um, I hide the mouse cursor. You can make it here, here. Hide the cursor over projection. And uh, yeah, um, by the way, the OBS Studio software is pretty good for recording a uh, desktop or any kind of video. Um, yeah, so jump into the software and go step by step. Um, one minute. So now you can see it's very dark. Um, what can we do? Um, when you know the software, um, I know what to do. Um, make this 
boom. And then you have different um, options. So it looks more, um, oh, this one. <laughs> I mostly choose the first option because I like it. Before um, accept, we can zoom in and you already see the white noises. And especially this um, area here, this object is very um, massive. So if you have a magnifying glass, um, Stop the video and uh, spot this um, object. It's very amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, accept. And now um, we could try correct the white tone. And you, you can see that um, it's, it depends on the picture, what you are going to do uh, with filters. There are some images um, that don't need that much um, um, filters to bring out the details. So this is one of these pictures, uh, images. And um, before going to the next step, uh, we fly over the image. And we are looking down to Mare Krishnam. And Mare Krishnam is about from here, so from the north to the top of the south, um, around about 580 um, kilometers in diameter. This is amazing scale. And um, what I um, have seen, this is very interesting. We can see it better after using the next um, filter, and we do it now. Um, this is the dehaze filter. Zoom out. I'll zoom in again and uh, um, reduce the white noises. So when you see that the noises are not uh, fading, you can use this um, option to, I don't know what is it um, called in English. But you really have to be careful. Let's try this one. Yeah, surprise, surprise. What has happened? So now we have a better view. We still see some noises, but not a problem. So <clears throat> um, you can see this. Um, I call it construction and you see that it uh, goes up and goes down here to the east and then it's fading under some kind of haze. I don't know if we're looking at, um, I don't know what it is, it might be haze or I don't think that we are looking to water. But now, let's go to this object. You can see these uh, symmetrical lines, straight line that goes down and so on. Yeah. 
it's very easy to handle the software. But like I always say, use the magnifier to keep the details alive. Um, I would try to I just see um, how the filter works. But you should not uh, use it uh, too often because um, the quality changes and it looks more muddy at one point. And what we can do in the next step um, is uh, turn the picture upside down. And then we will see that it looks different, a little bit confusing. By the way, I want to say prose to you. I'm sitting here with a glass of wine. Um, it's very tasty. So prose. So do you know the phrase um, that the truth is to find in the wine? <laughs> yeah, this looks crazy. Yeah, it's not the best quality, but you can see shapes and um, and all the shapes we have seen before in other images. And yeah, now let's turn it. Um, okay, so turn it to one hundred and eighty degrees. And now we have the effect that the so-called craters looks like domes now. See that? Yeah, it looks totally different now. So go back. Okay. Yeah, Tef, Derek Baker and me were talking about um, using different uh, graphics software. Um, well, you know, I prefer the ACDC Ultimate 10 version. It's a very powerful graphic software and um, it's important that you have a strong um, machine of computer to handle big data sizes and now I finally can do that and that's the reason why I will um, present more videos um, in the upcoming days and show you more um, detail yeah guys um, thanks for your um, attention leave a comment if you want to um, we can talk about everything and uh, one thing I really want to say um, there was a guy who said um, I would lie. Um, I mean, what I do is um, 
exploring um, another images and all I do is um, bring out the details and I don't lie about things we are see in the pic in the images and okay we can speculate what we are looking at but to me it really looks like artificial and when I, when I compare it with um, footages um, of hobby astronomers like Bruce Swartz or other people um, you really can see that these anomalies are everywhere and um, in every picture so to me the moon looks like um, sometimes I think the moon is one gigantic piece of artificial construction or um, the moon is they are so long um, such a long time on the moon that the moon looks like artificial now it's like if you would terraform earth you know what I mean um, <clears throat> other point is when you think about the solar our solar system then we uh, realize that there are a lot of other moons uh, close to other planetary bodies like Saturn um, or Jupiter and so on and uh, I think Saturn has um, three lunars I'm not sure at all but I was thinking about um, could it be that the moons have a main function um, to take influence uh, yeah the life on a planet i'm not sure but i think the moons play a special role in the evolution of planets it's my theory and yeah it's interesting and um to think about that stuff yeah um so this is the yeah Mary Christian Marie, and we can look inside this Marie. Um, you can see that there are objects in there, and why does it look so hazy, so milky? Um, what is the explanation for that? I don't know, but could it be that there is a lot of haze over the Maries, um, or are we looking? Uh, to liquid any liquid um, stuff like water or I don't know what it is but we can see that there's something going on and um, especially here this is over the haze and this is under the haze you see the different um, yeah, tone and you can see um, symmetrical lines here yeah it's amazing Yeah, here's a huge uh, source of energy or something like that. A look at this. Yeah, um, I really like this picture. It shows a lot of stuff looks like a small tower yeah guys um thanks for your attention have a nice weekend um i think we see soon again yeah bye bye guys and Prost.